It's Monday, so you know what that means. Cody Rhodes is probably not going to be returning onto the weekend of WrestleMania, which is this weekend. This is WrestleRound bringing you today's uh, top five wrestling news and rumors. Make sure to have those notifications to always be up to date, and let's get right into it. WrestleMania 38 is this weekend, but we already got to start talking about WrestleMania 39 because it seems like it's going to be all about The Rock. Not Chris Rock, but Dwayne The Rock Johnson. According to new reports wwe has a working plan for the rocks wrestlemania match next year against the tribal chief roman reigns for the last couple of years there has been talk about roman reigns versus the rock and what will likely be the rocks final match for this match to happen the rock schedule will have to be clear not only from his movie commitments but now also the xfl that is said to be relaunching next spring the wrestling observer radio talked about the rock return and provided a slight update on what been happening they indicated that the situation with the rock is exactly what you think the belief is that the rock wants to do it wwe believes that it is a probable main event but they are all very aware that there are things that can get in the way and it could not happen the working idea is that the match for roman reigns against the rock will happen at next year's wrestlemania but it's worth mentioning that it is not set in stone by any means that just been the idea for months and months and the opinion on it is that wwe really really wants to do it as the rock is not getting younger if we get roman reigns versus the rock the other massive matchup that is expected to happen next year is becky lynch versus ronda rousey back to this rock matchup wwe been trying to do it for about three years now obviously been planning it for even longer than that so you gotta wonder that maybe finally next year when wrestlemania is in Hollywood is when they get it done. It definitely makes the most sense. On to some quick and breaking news, uh, WWE ended up announcing today that the Steiner brothers will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2022. This is obviously shocking because the math don't add up of Scott Steiner getting inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame. Scott Steiner has been extremely vocal about not wanting this. He had declined an induction multiple times before and it's no secret that he's not really a fan of stephanie mcmahon or triple h but i guess with braun breaker being such a huge part of the brand new stars that wwe is trying to push on nxt 2.0 and with braun breaker's father rick steiner scott steiner probably has a soft spot right there and agreed to do it i just hope that in his speech we get some math equation this one is also not adding up as it is raising some eyebrows the wwe shop website has added a brand new t-shirt and it is for vince mcmahon and what he ended up saying on the Pat McAfee show, if people think I'm an ass, congratulations, I am. And in it, we get to see Vince McMahon with devil horns on his forehead. Clearly, WWE Shop website continues to run out of ideas, but I guess at least we finally got our new Vince McMahon t-shirt. As of me recording this, a Monday Night Raw is about to go down tonight. And there is a massive return that is being confirmed by PW Insider right now. As according to a brand new report, Bobby Lashley is going to return on Monday night raw this week the latest reports in regards to bobby lashley is that he will be taking on almost a wrestlemania in a one-on-one -on -one matchup if bobby lashley does make his return then that means that of course he is clear to compete but as bobby lashley might make his return it looks like we're still not going to be seeing cody rhodes there has been a lot of speculations that cody rhodes might appear on tonight as to set up his matchup with seth rollins but the latest in regards to all of this is that WWE had no plans to have Cody appear on Raw before this weekend, before the WrestleMania match against Seth. The Wrestling Observer Radio indicated that the talk definitely was that Cody Rhodes doesn't show up until WrestleMania. Per WWE storylines, of course, Seth Rollins is supposed to meet Vince McMahon this morning, which technically he already did, but we don't know the results of it. Currently, Seth Rollins doesn't have a quote-unquote path to WrestleMania 
WrestleMania, losing opportunities against Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. Overall, it looks like WWE is going to follow the playbook from WrestleMania 33, where Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy return to the company to a massive pop from the crowd. What's very interesting about this is that in house shows, Seth Rollins has been getting a babyface reaction. Obviously, Cody Rhodes is going to show up and there's going to be a massive pop, but you got to wonder if in the actual match, they might just do a double turn and make Cody Rhodes the heel right away and Seth Rollins a babyface. Regardless, it's going to be an interesting one. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think is going to happen. If you enjoy or find this informative, make sure to elbow drop it and turn on those notifications for more wrestling news coverage. Stay savage and I'll catch you on the next one.